Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're gonna set up motion cameras in the barn to see what animals we can catch with this wire cage trap. Now usually when I show you a trap, I know exactly when it was made, who made it, the patent number, but to me, this one's a mystery. At first I thought it was handmade, but it's much too well built. I think it's manufactured. I got it on eBay and the listing said it came off a farm sale from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. But it seems like it's a good trap. On top here we have a lid that slides out. There's a handle and up here is a door that goes up and down. But right now it's being held shut with a piece of wire, a pedal right here. Now what I'm gonna do is lift this up and open the door. I assume this is how you set it. The mouse goes in there, hits the trigger, and when it does, the door closes and the second piece of wire holds it shut. So the mouse will climb around in the wire cage and it can't get out. Now I'm not sure exactly how to set it with the trigger system, but there was a second wire in here. So I'm just gonna assume. I'll go ahead and lift that up again and hold the door open with the second piece of wire. I'm gonna put bait on this and that way when the mouse goes inside and pulls the bait, the first wire falls down, causing the door to fall down, just like this. It's kind of a balancing act. Oops. Again, the mouse will squeeze inside, want the bait, hit the trigger, and when it does, we got it. This trap is different than anything I've seen before. First, I'm gonna test it out with our pet mice, see if it works on them, and then we're gonna set it up in the barn with motion cameras and try to catch a wild mouse. Now, I may be setting this trap wrong. I'm not sure, there's no instructions. We'll see if our pet mouse goes in there. That didn't take long. When our pet mouse hit the trigger, the door closed. It seems like it's a good trap. Let's take our pet mouse out of the cage, then we'll go set it up in the barn with motion cameras and try to catch a wild mouse. Come on out of there. Well, last night we caught a mouse in our mystery wire cage trap. It wanted the bait, squeezed through the bottom, grabbed the almond on the trigger, set off the door, and we got it. Now this is actually the second mouse I caught in here. On the first night we caught one, but it found a tiny gap on the side of the door and squeezed out. So what I did on this trap is I added some wire right there. That is such a small space, but if the mouse can get his head through there, it can get his whole body. Now what we caught here is a native species, a deer mouse. So I'm gonna take it out in the wild and let it go. I wanna remove it from the barn, so what we're gonna do is set it free far away from any buildings. I'll pull off this lid and let it climb out. Well, it was sure fun testing out our trap. Thank you so much for watching my videos and thanks to all the viewers who are sending me art. I love seeing the pictures. I've posted over 600 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you wanna see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.